Hey, welcome back. Coach Tina here. I will be talking to you about how important our core is in keeping your posture upright and straight so you're not one of those hunched over little people. Not good for you. It's not good for your balance or anything. So if you can avoid your body from turning out that way, take charge right now and make sure that later on in life that your posture is really good because that's going to make a huge difference in your lives. So today I'm going to show you how to do some core exercises because our core is everything. So just follow along. I'll give you a little example and then you'll go on to do more sets if you're up for it. All right, here we go. Now you can do this laying on a bed. It's perfectly fine because sometimes it's just hard to get on that floor and get back up, especially if you're going through a bad flare up and you have not been staying on your exercise program, all kinds of different reasons. The bed is a great place where you can get on and off really easily. Just don't fall asleep. <laughs> so we will start out by good old planks. Planks are fantastic for getting your core strong and they're really easy as far as how you do them. Do them on your elbows like this. Get on your toes right there. You're going to lift your rear end up, but just until you're nice and straight and looking like a plank, like a board. And you're going to hold that and you're going to remember to breathe. So here we go. We're going to hold it to the count of 30. So here we go. Rear end in the air. If you need to take a break in between a little bit here and there, go up and then go down for a second. Take some breaths, but then try to get back up again. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, there's 15. I gotta take a break. Oh my God. Here we go. Six. There's 25 holy mackerels. Come again. Ah, there's the count of 30. Holy mackerels. So as you can see, my core has definitely gotten weaker during this flare up of mine. So if you're having to take a break, it's okay. Just get through the 30 count and, you know, count to yourself, go along with what I'm doing, whatever you need to do, but get to a 30 count and, and that's it. So try to do three sets of those. Now there's another one we can do. It's called the Superman or Superwoman, whichever you want to call it. And basically it's all about getting the, your arms up and your legs up. You're going to be on your belly. Your head's going to be forward. Try not to stretch your neck out too much, but you're going to lift both together. You're going to put your arms up like you're flying and your legs up like you're flying. That's really going to get your lower back all through here. And again, we're gonna count to 30. So here we go. Up. There's 10. There's 20. And there's 30. Woo. Okay. okay. So now we're going to go on our backs. We're going to put those legs out there. Let me get where you can see my legs really good. Okay. Going to be on your elbows. Try to relax your neck a little bit so it's up forward. And you are going to either A, if you're strong enough, lift both legs together just a little off the floor or if you're just not strong enough yet, 
you could go one at a time. Okay, and just hold that for 30. And then you'll just do each leg for 30. And, you know, you'll get stronger and stronger to where you can put both feet up. So for right now, do it either way. You're going to do this on your own anyways, if you're going to do more sets. So we're going to count to 30. Make sure you breathe. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ten. <laughs> There's twenty. Woo! I take a break real quick. Oh my god. Okay, ten more. <laughs> There's thirty. That was definitely hard. Definitely got to work on that core some more. Every one of these, you should try to do at least two to three sets. On here, I try to just do the one set because otherwise the video gets way too long. I don't know, maybe you'd like it. Leave it in the comments, let me know what you think. If you're following along and you're doing the exercises with me, let me know what you think. Okay, excuse my cat's tail. This is Thomas. He's decided to join us for working out. Next, we're gonna work on our sides. So you're gonna get on one of your sides. It doesn't matter which one. I'm starting on my left, just whatever I guess helps you be facing me so you can see what I'm doing. You're gonna be on your elbow and you're gonna put this arm up, like you're gonna flex your muscle, and you're gonna put this knee up towards the ceiling and you're going to bring them together and touch them and then go up and go like this. Okay. So ready, we're going to do 12 of these. And 12, the last one. Woo. Okay, other side. Watch out. Watch out, Tony. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get on our right side. Right, Tom Toms? Okay, here we go. Arm in the air, leg out, and together. And there's 12. The cat distracted me. I almost lost count. <laughs> okay, you guys. Next, you're going to get on your booteous maximus. <laughs> and you're going to get your hands back a little bit far behind you. You're going to have your knees bent. And you're going to bring, as you bring your knees up, bring your body kind of forward like you're going up, just kind of use those hands if you need to and push yourself up, but at the same time, bring them together. Like you're doing a sit up, but you're still in the air. We're gonna do 12. Last one and 12. Woo. What do you think, Thomas? Okay, in the last one, we're gonna bend our knees. I'm gonna go down this way. I'll try this way to see what if you can tell what I'm doing to begin out with. You're gonna have your back flat. And what you're gonna do is you're not quite gonna do a sit-up, but you're gonna support, you're gonna keep your neck nice and strong. You're going to go like you're reaching for a rope. Put the ropes over on the opposite side. You're going to grab for that rope. Go down, grab for that rope. Okay, just like that. 
Here we go. We're going to do 12 on each side. Last one, there's 24, Woo. Okay, that was a good one. So not too many to start out with, but it's good to get your body moving, start getting that core stronger, and do these, each one of them, three sets if you can. If you can only do this one set, then that's all you can do, and that's okay. Just every day, get yourself stronger and work your way up to doing three sets and see if you can do all the reps or all the counts that we've done. And just, like I said, build up from there. Before you know it, you're gonna be rock hard and strong. So that's what we're, that's what we are. We are getting our goals going here and that's what we're working up towards. And for now, me and Thomas, we're gonna get going and he's probably gonna want some little temptations or something. And uh, we'll see you soon. Take care.